hope you're having a great day well evening maybe perhaps I'm not actually sure what the time is I'm thinking maybe close to 4 345 something like that but um as you can read from the description on the video is this is a pattern review I'm going to go over two patterns and we're going to talk about this lovely what do you call that this lovely ditta um, dip, ditto ditta that used to be an expression forget it anyway we're going to talk about this a blouse and we're going to talk about a skirt let's first go with the skirt I guess this is Butterick B of course B Butterick 5466 and this is the skirt right here that uh, I made now I've made this skirt before but it's been a really long time ago so I'm not exactly sure even what happened to that skirt. Uh, this particular skirt, it is considered a pencil skirt or a straight skirt as some of you might say. And I have found in time past that if you just put it where you want it, uh, lengthwise, when you sit down, it always goes up farther. Plus two, it really hangs on your hips. So if that's just the way you want it, okay, but I don't like it that way. So, um, up at the hip part, I just enlarged it through there because I did not want it to cling on my backside. And it fits beautifully. One of these days, I'm going to be wearing it with this set here um, on a Sunday's outfit of the day. Perhaps not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. We will see. But, uh, yep, this is a skirt. I found nothing wrong with this skirt. This skirt sewed beautifully. It came out exactly right. Um... This is a, um, let me show you here. This is a houndstooth fabric, as you can see. It's very beautiful. Normally you think of houndstooth as being heavy, at least I do. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But this on the bolts that it was a um, houndstooth rayon. It is really light. It's really beautiful fabric. All it has in it, of course, is it takes an invisible zipper. There are two, one longer than the other one, and it's on both sides. These are your darts. And then in the front, there's actually also uh, two on each side. It's just beautiful. It came out lovely. All it has in it is a, is a facing. That's all it is, and it gets rid of that raw edge and as easy as pie. But, um... I was going to make a little bolo to go with it of some sort, uh, a jacket or what have you, but um, I did not have enough fabric, just enough for the skirt. So what I did is I thought, well, what can I do with this skirt to make it a little more special than just a skirt? Well, I thought I would just make a blouse to go with it. This black uh, uh, vest here, I got at Walmart. It was $13. I didn't think that was bad at all very good price and of course then it buttons up the front um and so that's going to be worn with this outfit what i want to show you is the blouse this blouse here is such a beautiful 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 color um it has tiny little polka dots on it um i'm a kind of person that i love to mix prints they just have to be on a certain scale size um and when you're doing colors where the prints are wild there needs to be a same thing oh what's the word whatever is in one print it needs to be in the other print in order to be able to draw them together to where it doesn't look funny at least that's how i have figured out how to do it when i made this skirt originally the blouse i was going to make it was a silky satiny looking blouse I was going to make a bow tied blouse to go with it and um, I felt like the fabric was too heavy it would be better um, a dress and my idea was it was that kind of fabric that looks like a kimono type fabric you've seen it they look like a brocade but it's silky shiny it's beautiful with little flowers on it but it just did not work in this case so maybe in the future you'll be able to see that in a dress but I found this in my stash and it's really a strange fabric. I do not know what it is. It's not complete polyester. There is something else to it. 
that makes it cottony feeling too, but it has a slick, I'm not really sure. All I did though was turn it under a tad, hem the, the sleeves and also for the bottom and just turned it under a tad and hem that. Now this was actually longer. It came down farther below the waistband, but I wanted it to be farther up to the waistband and it is still kind of long. Um, my aim was to just leave it out and just let it kind of hang close to the waistband, but I didn't cut it back enough. So I don't know what it'll look like with a vest over it, if it looks shabby or not hanging below it. I don't know. It may end up going in my skirt. I'm going to have to do trial in there and see how I like to wear it. But uh, it has little tucks up here, so easy to make. And of course, it is just has a facing and I just put two hooks there. I like the white because of the polka dots and the white in the skirt. I thought it'd be better than silver. And then, of course, the sleeves. And, uh, man, the back. Here it is. I've got these little tucks like uh, these are good iron. But then there again, there is the back the slit. I, I've yet to figure out why the slit was so long. Um, I guess I could have stopped here, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I got these two here, and I don't know when or if I wear this with anything else. I guess I should, I could, but mainly I made it to go with this here and I'm gonna have a vest over it. So you're not even gonna see if, if you know, if you can see on the side, I don't know. But uh, the thing I liked about this blouse so well is that I love how it comes here and then this little collar like here stands up around your neck. Now I'm gonna show you the pattern for this. This is a simplicity pattern, 10937. This is the pattern that I use, and it is this blouse right here. Um, very simple. Uh, this blouse, I believe, has a tendency maybe to be bigger than your size. It is definitely big. And when I put this up to me, you can see that this wraps Here's my side. It wraps here and it wraps here. So, um, yeah, because I was going by my bus size and I don't know. So you might consider that, you know, if you think you're one thing, like, you know, like let's say you're a 14, you probably could wear a 12. So, or if you're a 10, you might be able to wear an eight. So uh, it's just something to consider, but, uh, Yep, I just think it came out beautifully. It'll go great with that skirt and that vest. Um, yeah, and other than that, I see nothing wrong with this pattern, nothing funny, um, other than the fact that it is quite roomy. And actually, when you look on here, I don't know if you can tell it, but through here, her arms are here. It's like the pattern is over. So it is quite roomy, even on her. And she's a small person so anyway this pattern was actually put out uh, let's see I've actually had this pattern a little while but I've just never sewed her up um, it's at least 2022 maybe but I'm not seeing the date on here and this one here for uh, this butter rick that I showed you for my skirt this is an older pattern because I've actually had this pattern a while. Uh, like I said, I hate it when you can't find the size, I mean the date, year. Um, oh, found it. 2010. So I know I've had this pattern a long time, but I've actually got my use out of it. And I'm in the process of making a skirt and a blouse. That's actually another video, but uh, they're fall colors, and um, it's a, a uh, circle skirt. It's going to be really cute, hopefully anyway, but uh, this skirt I'm going to actually use again, so you're going to see this pattern again on a skirt and a tunic, a long tunic that I have plans for, and I have so many plans, but I'm trying to think about the season and how they're changing, and there's Halloween, and then there's fall, and you know all the stuff that I want to get it all in because once that time passes you're not going to be wearing Halloween in November see what I mean 
So I want to get it all in. But anyway, that's all I have to bring for you today. Thank you for following me. If you like it, put a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, I'm really trying to keep ahead and, uh, and above my sewing uh, to get stuff up all the time so you can see and you're not getting bored. But um, yeah, hope all of you have a good evening. Until next time, thanks for following me. Bye-bye.